So let me ask about recruitment then, because um, I'm, I'm fascinated in how you identify those people that you know will deliver um, that care and that attention and that genuine sincerity. How do you go about that? First, first of all, we, we have an online test. So when you apply for this Carlton, you're going to have an online test that would test depending on how you answer the question, if you are a person that is genuinely caring. So we don't ask you how much is 12 by 12 and 7 by 7. It, it's, it's more about the character. Mm. And then the result of the test will have three colors, going to be green, yellow or red. You know what happens if you're red, right? Yeah. That's maybe the end of the road. If you yellow, there's a chance. And if you're green, then, then of course it's good. So that's just the first test. And uh, it works. We do that for manager. We do that for line employee. We do that for everyone. And that's just the first interview. And then there's an interview by uh, somebody in human resource, you know, to verify the person uh, curriculum vitae, uh, what they did, check the references, where they were before. Reference are very important because people can build a beautiful CV, which can be fake or can be modified. So you always check reference. If everything is okay and uh, it's green, we go to the next level. That person will be interviewed by a department head, could be a restaurant manager or waiter. And the next level will be the division head, the FAB director of that person. So there's quite a few interviews. And after FME director will be the hotel manager with my assistant. And then I will do the last interview. And my last interview, I had uh, this afternoon, I had seven interviews. They, they don't last an hour. They, you know, my interview, because I don't want to waste their time. I spend maybe five minutes with them, could be more, a little bit, uh, basically to see what they look like, to see if they, you know, genuinely caring, friendly, and so on. And just to basically make sure that we're hiring the, the right people that basically it's many filters and that allow me also to know the people before they work in a hotel and for them to briefly know me and i also ask them what you dream what your goal what you want to do in the future why you choose this carton why you work in this business so you have an idea of who you're hiring that would take care of your guests and with all this filter i think uh, we have a very good process Mm. and the chance to put a good person in front of the guests are pretty high. We make mistakes sometimes, but overall, uh, the hiring, basically the selection process, not the hiring, the selection process mm. is very strong and very, very good. How long, it does, very well. how long does that process take? Well, it, can, it, it depends where the people are, but, uh, you know, some interview we have to do by Skype if they oversee. But basically, I would say from the time you send your CV. First of all, to do the online test will take about three days because you have to go online, you have to register, uh, get an answer back. So that will take three days. So the entire process maybe will take maybe maybe two weeks. So it's not so long. And like today, for example, person came for the interview in HR, was successful, met the restaurant manager, was successful, met the hotel manager, was successful, and met me, was successful. So in one day, actually you, you can finish many interviews. Some people have to come back because I don't do interview every day. I do it normally once or twice a week. We schedule it in advance. So some people may have to come back, but it's uh, it takes a few days. It takes sometimes a couple of weeks. It took me uh, three months to be hired by this company, by the way, 19 years ago. But, you know, at the end, you really select the right people. So it's worth the investment of time mm. for them and for us. And, and interestingly, the online tests that they take, how many people, what percentage of people pass that test, get the green light? You know, I, I don't even know because I only talk to the green one, right? So <laughs> yes. basically, if I, I didn't even ask each other, okay, how many applicants you have? But uh, from what I, I would think, more or less, I, I would guess about 25%, maybe they fail. And for manager, it's interesting because it's not just green or yellow or red, it's green, but it's green by category, you know, leadership, attention to detail, uh, you know, business acumen. So it could be green or managing people. It could be green in one, yellow in another one, red in another one. So if you are your manager, hopefully 
they will be green in all this area. And if they're not, we can still hire them, but at least we know their weakness and we can help them to develop in those weakness. Mm -hmm. So it's actually quite, quite helpful. Yeah. And how- and Selecting the right is the key. It's completely the key, isn't it? And 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 my view on um, selection, a selection process is about giving the candidate as much of an insight into you as it is into us getting an insight into them. And also, are we a match, which is part of your process? Are we a match? Are you going to yeah. love working yeah. here? Are you going to are you, yeah. are you going to help grow our team? And then. Um, and and it's about um, helping them make a good decision for their life because a job is it, it can either build your confidence or crush it, and so it's really lovely to hear how in, incredibly watertight your process is. That everybody has a part to play in the recruitment process. Hi, I'm Lisa. I hope you enjoyed the film. If you did, please like and share. And if you've got any comments or any questions, just leave them in the box below and I'll come back to you there. Also, the links to my website, Power for Success, are below as well. Have a little look around there. And I hope you enjoyed the channel and have a really lovely day.